Hello everyone, welcome back to Gitroid Tips and in this video we are going to talk about how to fix Titanfall 2 is having crashing at startup, it is not launching, won't launch, freezing, stuttering, low FPS drop, stuck or loaded screen and even black screen issue which is happening for many of the users right now and how we can fix this app. So let's dive into the workaround. The first one is all about what we need to do is we just need to start with a simple restart. That is what we have to do as the first step. For doing this, we just need to go over here at the start, click over here in this particular icon, go to the power icon, go for a restart. Once restart is done, try launch the game and see whether the issue is solved or not. Sometimes, you know, this, this can work in most cases, so we can try this out. If that is not working, we have to move to the next step. Next step is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to try with launch the game from the installation folder. For launching the game from the installation folder, we have to go over here in the game, right click and we have to go to the properties. Now from here go to the install it file and just click on uh, browse so that will take you to this particular folder. So if you check at the top that is this PC, local disk C, program file x86, steam, steam apps, common, titanfall2. So this is the application from here you can launch the game. So this is what you have to do. So try launch the game instead of Steam. Try launching the game from this application that will be working in most cases. Next one is all about nothing but we can do two more steps from here. It's, that is all about we need to run the game as an administrator. For this we just need to go over here right click and we have to go to the show more options. Go to the properties. Go to the compatibility and just click on run this program as an administrator and go for apply and go for ok and once you add this up what we need to do is we just need to close this and we just need to try launch the game so this might work in many many cases so we can try this out if this is not working we have to move to the next one that is all about we need to run the game in the compatibility mode for this reason we have to go over here right click and we have to go to the show more options we have to go to the properties go to compatibility Click on run this program in the compatibility mode. Make sure you can try with the Windows 7 as the first one. Go for apply and go for ok. If that is not working, change this to Windows 8. Go for apply and go for ok and try launch the game. So this is what we have to do as the step. Most probably if that is not working, keep on moving to the next step. That is all about we need to make sure that the uh, date and time and region is correct. For this what we need to do is we just need to go over here in the search. We have to go to settings. Now from here go to the time and language, make sure the date and time is working fine. So this has to be turned off and this has to be turned off on as well. Both thing has to be turned on. Now go back and we have to go to the language and region. From here we have to select this one, select United States if you are from United States. That means you have to select the country according to your geography, you have to select the country. And once you set this up, you just need to close this and we just need to go back and we just need to try launching the game. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to launch the game and we have to press Alt and Tab. That is what we have to do. So just launch the game and when you launch the game we have to press Alt and Tab from the keyboard. I don't know how this is related but this did work it for many users so you can try this out. Just click on the play button and you have to press Alt and Tab from the keyboard. When you do this up what happens is most probably the game will be launching and if you are having an issue for few users this worker so we can try this out. If that is not working we have to move to the next one that is all about we need to delete the saved game file. For this we just need to go over here in the file explorer. Now from here go to this PC. Now go to the uh, documents over here and from here go to the my games and here we will be having the game. So if you find the game just delete the game and keep in mind the folder has to be deleted and keep in mind you will be losing all the progressions of the game but that is fine just delete it. Once you delete it you just need to close this and we have to go back try launch the game. Next one is all about nothing but we have to unplug all the USB devices. I don't know how this is related or how this is working for many of the users but this is a very important step. So our systems might be plugged in with many things for example Logitech wheels, controllers, joystick and even many other things. So just remove everything from the USB port. Once you remove everything from the USB port, launch the game, afterwards connect it back if you wanted to continue playing the game with the controller or joystick. This particular step did work it for many users so you can try this out. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to allow the game to Windows security. For this reason we have to go over here in the search we have to go over here go to the control panel 
go for system and security go for windows defender firewall go for allow app or feature through windows defender firewall now keep scrolling down and navigate to the game so we need to go to titanfall so keep scrolling down and over here in the t you will be able to find it so uh, most probably the game will be over here in the t but uh, hence it is an alphabet so if you can't find it nothing to worry we can add it some case sometimes this even happens for many players as well so in order to add just click on the change settings go for allow another app go for browse go to this pc go to local disk c go to program file x86 go to steam go to steam apps go to common now from here we have to navigate to titanfall 2 so from here go over here and select this one and go for open and add it so right now this is added make sure both the private and public should be selected or else we'll be having the trouble so select both the private and public once afterwards just close this and we have to go back try launch the game next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to perform a clean boot for this what we need to do is we just need to go over here in the search we have to go over here in the system configuration now go for services go for disable all go for hide all microsoft services go for apply and go for ok so once you go for ok go for restart if you wanted to go for restart or else you can go for exit without restart but for me i am recommending you can go for restart but here i am in the middle of shooting so i am going to go for exit without restart the users who are watching this go for restart and once afterwards try launch the game next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to do the next one that is all about we need to disable the steam overlay for this we just need to go over here right click we have to go to the properties go to the game and make sure this is turn it off this is very important once you turn this off try launch the game that will be working fine if that is not the case we have to go over here in the launch option and we have to give few commands and try launching the game the first command is dx11 try with dx11 launch the game if dx11 is not working try with dx12 and try launch the game so either the dx11 or dx12 any one of the things will be working fine so you can try with this once afterwards just go over here and try launch the game and see whether the issue is solved or not still if you're having a lot of trouble we can try with the next one that is all about nothing but we have to close all the overlay and overclocking application for this reason we have to go over here right click and we have to go to the task manager over here we have to find now as you can see there are a lot of things running over here in the background for example if you see discord reward tuner msa afterburner which comes under the category of overlay and overclocking application what happens is when you launch the game this too launch in the background which is causing for the crashing issue so what we need to do is we just need to remove the unwanted things from here just remove the unwanted things and once after this you can uh, remove the unwanted things and try launch the game that will be working fine as well next one is all about we need to run the game on dedicated graphics card for this we just need to go over here in the search go for graphics settings and now from here as you can see we have already added many games in the same way we need to add the game so just go to the browse now go to this pc go to local disk c go to program file x86 keep scrolling down and navigate to steam go for steam amps go to common now from here we have to navigate to titanfall 2 and select this one and go for add and now as you can see the game is already added that is why it is recommending so if the game is already added what we need to do is just select this one go for option and as you can see by default this is let windows decide change this to high performance and go for save once afterwards just close this and we have to go back try launching the game next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to increase the virtual memory for this reason we have to go over here navigate to view advanced system setting go to the advanced tab go to settings once again advanced tab once again go for change make sure this is unchecked and select the local disk where the game is installed go for custom size that is initial size 1.5 times the total ram and the maximum size is 3 times the total ram so just go over here we need a calculator so let me type 32 gb is the ram of my pc so i have to type 32 gb multiplied it with 1024 that brings you to this one multiplied with 1.5 so that brings you 14 and 152 so just copy this and we have to paste it and the maximum size is 32 gb multiplied with 1024 that brings you to this and multiplied with 3 that is 98 304 and we just have to copy and paste it so once every value is being set we have to close this and we have to go back and we just need to try launch the game and that is what we have to do 
next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to update the windows for this we just need to go over here in the search we have to go over here in the settings and from here we have to go to the windows update make sure the windows is up to date which is very important and we have to update the windows if you're having any kind of update just update the windows and make sure it is on the latest version next one is all about nothing but we have to increase install the graphics card that is an important step so i'll be providing link in the description to both nvidia amd so the nvidia users have to go to this page select every details of your according to your configuration so select everything and if you're on windows 11 change to windows 11 or else let it be on windows 10 go for start search and when you go for start search what happens is you'll be getting the latest released versions that is why 37.13 is the latest released version which is on august 2022 2023 so just download this install restart is a mandatory and try launch the game next one if you're on the amd just go over here in the amd just uh, select every details over here and go for submit and if you're on windows 11 you have to download this one if you're on windows 10 we have to download this one install restart is a mandatory and try launching the game after trying with this if the issue is still there we can try with next one that is all about installing the microsoft visual c plus plus so just go over here in the game right click over here if you're on the x64 based one you can download this one and install this if you're on x86 download this one and install this even after trying this if the issue is still there you can try with uninstalling the game and reinstalling it back for uninstalling the game just go over here go to the manage and install the game and keep in mind when you're reinstalling it back it should not be on the same local disk it has to be a new local disk and this is what we have to do once we're done with this one if the issue is still there we can try with the next one that is all about we can try verify integrity of game file for this reason we have to go over here right click and we have to go to the properties go for install it file and just click on the verify integrity of game file so what happens is this will cross check every single files of a game and if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing all these kind of issues will be fixed by this particular step so let me just click on this one and once it's reached 100 percentage i'll be showing you the next step
So once everything is validated, what we need to do is we just need to close this and we just need to try launch the game and most probably the issue will be completely fixed. So these are the possible workaround which can be done when you are having an issue with Titanfall 2 regarding this and I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.